My name is Michael Croft. Uh, I'm managing partner of uh, NWD Legal, uh, which is a law firm presented uh, in Prague and in Bratislava as well. Uh, I'm in legal practice uh, for 20 years already, uh, and our firm actually uh, exists seven years uh, on both the Czech and uh, the Slovak market. And uh, as you can see, uh, we are uh, not a big law firm. Uh, we are mid-size, um, however, very active and um, you know, proactive, particularly uh, with uh, Czech Invest and um, some of the uh, medium-sized uh, foreign investors um, uh, in the Czech Republic and in Slovakia. Uh, during my practice uh, in the Czech Republic uh, during the years, I believe that uh, the framework, uh, the legal framework, uh, improved significantly and now Czech Republic is fully comparable uh, with all the neighbors in the region uh, in general. Uh, of course we face some problems but uh, who does not in these days uh, but uh, I think that the new uh, trend uh, in politics as well is to simplify the legal framework, the taxes um, and simply the uh, business environment uh, <clears throat> in order to improve uh, uh, to improve uh, the uh, competitive advantages uh, which obviously the Czech Republic has as a uh, being uh, actually in the middle of Europe. Uh, so, uh, as you know, the Czech Republic is a major player in the uh, automotive industry and uh, in all uh, the related uh, industries. Uh, and I think that particularly investments in high-tech, in automotive, uh, in biotech um, might be of uh, good, uh, good potential uh, for the Czech Republic. Uh, we work also for the, uh, for the Czech businesses uh, as well, for the Czech companies, for Czech individuals uh, in all areas uh, of law. And um, I have to say that uh, uh, if we compare the development of the Czech Republic uh, in decades, uh, I think uh, it goes in a, a better and better uh, direction. Uh, the new trends um, uh, in legislation uh, are very important and uh, will be effective very soon, uh, particularly the new civil code, um, which is uh, basically the biggest change, I would say, in, in, the, last, um, uh, in the last 40 years, more than 40 years. Um, uh, that there is new draft of uh, civil code in place. Uh, the changes uh, are very significant, and I think um, uh, there is a chance to bring uh, the uh, civil law, as such, in the Czech Republic uh, up to very high standard, uh, Europe-wide as well as, as worldwide. Uh, so uh, this will impact also uh, basically the companies because. Uh, all the obligations uh, will not be anymore in the commercial code, but uh, will be moved into the uh, civil code, and the corporate law uh, will be regulated separately. Uh, so this will be the biggest change uh, as of 1989 in obligations and uh, in business uh, relationships, as well as in the corporate area. Uh, the advantages uh, of the Czech Republic, uh, uh, I think, uh, in, in the legal sphere are um, of, um, um, of uh, I would say, the standard uh, which, uh, which the investors uh, can expect in Europe. Uh, it's uh, very simple uh, now to incorporate a company in the Czech Republic, to operate a company in accordance with the corporate governance standards. Uh, as you may know, we have also a new criminal law, uh, which was um, introduced uh, through, the, uh, through the criminal code uh, last year. So it also brings uh, quite significant uh, uh, changes into the system. Uh, so I think that the general legal framework now is uh, very, uh, very uh, efficient and sufficient uh, for business operations and for uh, corporate governance. Um, the other advantages of the Czech Republic, uh, which I can see, uh, is that uh, I believe people are very flexible here. Uh, the labor skills is educated uh, and um, is quite skillful, particularly in all the technical fields. 
uh, which might be of interest for potential uh, investors. Um, the new trends um, uh, are like in all Europe. Um, uh, is basically uh, to make uh, the Czech uh, Republic uh, competitive. So uh, there is uh, in plan also new tax system, uh, new taxation, uh, which should be simplified, uh, should be very uh, easy to understand and to follow. And I believe this is one of important changes uh, which Czech Republic uh, truly needs in order to even improve uh, the competitive uh, uh, advantages uh, which are here. Uh, to sum up, um, if you compare the Czech Republic uh, 20, 10, 20 years ago and in these days, uh, you may walk uh, on the streets of Prague and uh, uh, you will be sure that uh, really everyone speaks English. Um, whereas 20 years ago uh, it was sometimes Russian only. Uh, so the language skills uh, uh, have improved significantly over the years and I believe that uh, Czech Republic and Prague uh, is truly a multinational and international city in, in the good sense uh, of its meaning.